something happens, give it to the police. What is it? It's not important. The bad news is we still don't know who killed Sarah. The good news is season two starts on May 19th, 2021. This whodunit crime mystery is one of the better ones on Netflix. It makes you think everybody is the murderer of Sarah, but in the end, you're not so sure. In fact, as the season ends, you're left with more questions than answers. Season two will have a lot of questions to answer. The cast has us intrigued, so we wanted to know more about them. Enjoy the video. This is Who Killed Sarah cast, age, and real life partners. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. What is Who Killed Sarah all about? Who Killed Sarah is a Mexican thriller streaming television series created by Jose Ignacio Valenzuela and produced by Pero Azul for Netflix. The first season was released by the latter platform in March 2021. The fiction follows Alex Guzman, hell-bent on finding out who killed his sister Sarah after spending 18 years in prison for a crime he did not commit, and on getting revenge on the Lascano family, Chimena La Madrid as Sarah. Chimena La Madrid was born on the 5th of June 1996 in Cancun, Mexico, which makes her 25 years old. She grew up in Dubai, UAE, where she developed her love for acting from a young age. At 19, she moved to New York to pursue her acting career in the U.S. Chimena has a BFA in theater from NYU's Tisch School of the Arts, where she studied in Atlantic Acting School for two years as a film actor at the Stone Street Screen Acting Studios. Chimena's ascent into stardom began when she moved to Mexico City and played Sara in the Netflix original Quien Mató a Sara, and when she starred as Esther in Humberto Hinojosa's film No Abras la Puerta. Chimena continues to work in both film and TV internationally with many prominent projects on the way. Jimena has had an artist boyfriend named Juan Pablo Garcia, Juan Pa. They have no children together. She has a net worth of around a million dollars and has an Instagram account with 159,000 followers as of May 2021. Most of her Instagram posts show her in nature and with animals, especially cats. Manolo Cardona as Alex. Manolo Cardona was born on April 25th, 1977 in Popayan, Cauca, Colombia as Manuel Julian Cardona Malano. He is a 44-year-old actor and producer known for Who Killed Sarah, Narcos in 2015, and The Snitch Cartel in 2011. He's been married to Valeria Santos since 2012, and they have one child, a son named Gael. At age 7, he was given the name Manolo, a nickname that would later become his stage name. He went to college in Cali, Colombia. Manolo rose to stardom through his many television roles, including Gustavo Valesco on Ladron de Corazones and Julio Kaczynski on La Hermandad. He also has served as the host of the Telemundo reality show Temptation Island. He became the recipient of a Latin Pride Award in 2008. He has an Instagram account with 604,000 followers followers, and most of the photos he posts are of himself. He's friends with Sofia Vergara, and they're friends in real life. Both stars come from Colombia, so it's not surprising for their friendship to blossom, especially now that they're working in the same industry. We know each other, and she's been so nice, Manolo told Page Six. I laugh a lot with her the couple of times that we get to see each other. Hopefully, if I get the authority that Sofia has, that'll be amazing. Inez Garcia Milan as Cesar. Inez Garcia Milan, born on 10th of September 1964 in Puerto Lumbreras, Murcia, is a Spanish actor who has combined theater, film, and television in his career. The star is 56 years old. He grew up noticing the diverse people who played at his family establishment, Hotel Salas, in Puerto Lumbreras. While remembering his childhood experiences, he said, I remember the French, who spent the night in our accommodation on their way to Morocco. The Germans, who came by motorbike and met until dawn drinking beers. Also, when the Danish women arrived by bus, making stops until they reached Malaga. They were all a myth and a revolution. Those nights at the hotel were fabulous. Inez Garcia Milan's father's name is Pedro Garcia, and his mother's name is Josefa Milan, and together they managed their hotel in Puerto Lumbreras. His brother's name is Juan Domingo Garcia Milan. As a kid, he was a passionate football player who played as a goalkeeper in the youth categories for the city of Murcia. He started playing for the Spanish professional football club Real Valladolid at the age of 16. Although not much is known about his relationships, reportedly, Jinez has two children, a daughter, Maria, and a son, Alberto. Carolina Miranda as Elisa. Carolina Miranda is a popular Mexican actress who is well known for appearing in the soap operas Las Bravo and Señora Acero. In 2021, she gained international recognition after playing the role of Elisa in Netflix's Quien Mató a Sara, Who Killed Sarah. She was born as Carolina Miranda Olvera on Sunday, June 24, 1990, aged 31 years as of 2021, in Guanajuato, Mexico. Since childhood, Carolina was a performer who actively participated in various extracurricular activities at school. In 2016, Carolina started dating the Mexican actor, director, and producer Michelle Duval. The couple developed a relationship in 2016 while shooting for the American television series Señora Acero. Ironically, in the series, Michelle played the role of Carolina's brother. In December 2016, they officially announced 
announced that they were dating each other when they appeared as guests in the television chat show Don Francisco Te Invita. After dating for about two years, the couple parted ways in 2019. She's quoted as saying, I'm hardly getting married. I'm passionate about life and art. I don't tolerate people who take their work lightly. I enjoy my solitude in my free time. Miranda has 29,400 followers on Instagram. Alejandro Nones as Rodolfo. The 38-year-old Venezuelan actor and model plays the role of Rodolfo Lascano, the person who's believed to be responsible for the death of the title character Sarah. He began his acting career in Mexico on the film Así del Precipicio, and later was hired by Televisa to act in the telenovela Lola Erase Una Vez. He grew up in Caracas, the capital of Venezuela. Alejandro Nones' father's name is under review, and his mother is unknown at this time. As far as we know, he is currently single. Alejandro had at least one relationship in the past. Nones has not been previously engaged. According to our records, he has no children. On Instagram, he has 819,000 followers. His posts are mainly of him and him with his male friends. His film and screen career includes Cuna de Lobos, Lo que podríamos ser, Amar a Muerte, Mi Propósito Eres Tú, La Piloto, Pasión y Poder, Crown of Tears, Amorcito Corazón, and Add Me, a short film. Claudia Ramirez as Mariana. Claudia plays the twisted and dark Mariana who wants Sarah dead because Sarah is pregnant with her husband's child. Mariana devises a plan to send Sarah parasailing and even lands Elroy a knife, intimating him to tamper with the harness. She controls Elroy with her influence and a bit of sexual control. Claudia Ramirez was born as Claudia Julieta Ramirez Valdez on July 30, 1964 in Minatitlan, Veracruz, Mexico. She's a 56-year-old Mexican actress. On her Instagram account, she has 82,100 followers. Most of the photos she posts are of her in glasses, where on the show she does not wear glasses. She also has a Twitter account where she has 151,600 followers. Nothing is known about any relationship she might be in. Her filmography includes Dune, As Fremen Girl, Cronica de Familia, Herencia Maldita, La Furia de un Dios, Solo con tu Pareja, Repartidores de Muerte, and many more. Claudia is not one of the better known actresses as can be seen by her filmography, but she's a great actress and portrays her role in the series very well. Eugenio Siller as Jose Maria. Eugenio Siller Margain was born April 5, 1981 and is a Mexican actor, singer, and model who's best known for starring in popular novellas Rebelde, Código Postal, Al Diablo con los Guapos, Mi Pecado, Aurora, Un Maid in Manhattan, Quien es Quien, and Reina de Corazones. Eugenio Siller began his career as an actor in multiple commercials as well as a player in musical comedies and theatrical productions. In 1998, Eugenio became part of a singing group called Cliché along with his older brother Mundo and two friends. They later formed an eponymous duo named Canela and later had a modeling career in Italy. He became interested in acting in 2005 and graduated from CEA, an acting school in Mexico. In 2000, in 2006, he had a breakthrough role in Rebelde, a Mexican telenovela, playing the part of Luciano. He then was cast in the hit teen series Código Postal, playing the role of a blind man named Rafael Rojas Alonso. His first leading role came in 2007 in the hit telenovela Al Diablo con los Guapos, in which he played Alejandro Belmonte, a rebellious rich boy who falls in love with Alison Laza's character Milagros. By 2009, Siller starred in the telenovela Mi Pecado in the main role of Julian Huerta Almada, the love interest of Lucrecia Cordoba, played by his former CEA classmate and friend Maite Perez. From November 2010 to May 2011, he played the lead role of Martin Lobos on Telemundo-produced telenovela Aurora. He starred in Telemundo's telenovela Un Maid in Manhattan as Cristobal Parker Salas, along with Litzy. He stars in Netflix's Who Killed Sarah as Chema Lascano. He's 40 years old and single. So there you have the cast of Who Killed Sarah. Who's your favorite actor or character? Let us know in the comments down below and feel free to speculate on who actually killed Sarah. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe.